Hi. Um, so, welcome to college. Um, if you found this tape, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, that some people still have tape players. Um, but there's a reason why I put this on tape. I wanted it to be, uh, a bit more secretive. Um, uh, I have a story that I, I have to tell you, and, um, uh, it's about this room. Um, uh, know that, uh, nothing bad can happen to you on this tape, okay? Um, and that nothing, nothing bad is going to happen to you. At least on, on, on purpose. Not if I can help it. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start telling the story now. I've never been good at talking with um, women. Um, uh, my name is Sean, um, and I, um, I've always been a little shy, but um, after, after 13 years, uh, um, it kind of got worse when it came to girls, for obvious reasons. Um, everybody, but especially girls. Um, I, 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 I don't know what it is. It's it's not like I'm smitten with every girl that happens to look at me. But as time progressed and I got older, their attention just seemed to stun me. Um, it made everything difficult. Uh, and I... I desperately wanted to seek help because, I mean, I, like, I can't just lock up and not speak whenever a woman is around. Um, I, 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 it just, just makes, it makes me useless. I had some, some women think that's nice, and... I, I guess that's partially true uh, in certain situations, but <laughs> I'm 21 now, and I'm still I'm still doing it. Um, it my late teens didn't help either because um, I was a late bloomer, and boy did I ever. Um, <laughs> Uh, I always, I always liked having, uh, long hair, um, because, uh, sometimes when I was, you know, preteen, uh, people would confuse me for a girl, and, uh, girls are more leery of other girls when they don't know of them, so, uh, outside from the occasional, you know, weird eye, uh, I, I would be left alone, and, and I could... I could manage to get through the day as long as they weren't looking at me. Um, uh, but um, around like 19, I I shot up, um, and then I ended up being 6'3 and looking like something out of the cover of a monthly romance novel. Um, in fact, I've I've even gotten an offer or two for posing for the paintings they use for them. If that gives you any idea. I, I would occasionally take it because a lot of the times it would be men and it was good money and you, I don't have to be around a woman. I just hold a doll and they paint in whatever woman they want for the picture and, and then it goes up on the thing. So um, it, it helps pay for college after all and, and it's a lot better than some things guys do for college. Um, but, um, 
that's uh that's why I'm talking to you now though is because that had to stop um something that I that I did uh, changed what the course of my life would be um and I suppose it started from the moment I was conceived but I um I didn't know that it was going to affect me this way um or change my life this much um but apparently uh there was not full disclosure when it came to um my father uh so my mother uh was a single parent my whole life um and i i couldn't have asked for a better mom um uh, when i would ask about dad she would just tell me a couple of things one that he was he was beautiful and he was misunderstood um the only other thing which i don't entirely count is that she said that she always wished she had heard him sing um strangely enough when when mom died last year she said that she finally got the chance to hear him um I I I I think I might know what that might mean now, but um I'll I'll move ahead in the story anyway. I was in my dorm room. Um I was fortunate enough to get my own room. Uh which is great because I, I they're co-ed dorms, so I can lock the door and and just work on my studies. Uh not exactly what I would like to do. I'd like to be a normal person, but that's that's not, and it's never have been in the cards. Um, so I was alone studying by the window, and um, I was I was neck deep in numbers and facts and I, I, I don't like math but you know who, who really does mathematicians probably but the, you you understand um, and then oh, I heard tapping a light tapping like a fingernail on glass a long fingernail on glass which would be bad enough given what I've already described to you as my paralytic uh, condition around women um, but my dorm room is on the fifth floor and that window doesn't have a balcony Um, just a, just a catwalk, really, uh, if that, like a fire escape, almost. I, I tried to ignore it, um, as I sat there, and... And I, I waited, and I started to open my book, and there it was, again, tapping tapping and I I was so so worried and then and then it got worse I heard this voice 
almost a whisper, gentle, feminine, but almost with a condescending, fake sweetness. Sean? Are you there, Sean? I... I don't... I don't answer the door, let alone my fifth floor window. Um... And I, 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 um, I, 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 I rolled out of where I was sitting and I backed out of the room and I, I just wanted to put a wall between us and I, I knew I had to be crazy. I mean, who could possibly be out on there at this time of night and, and I, I heard it again. Where are you going? Please let me in. I had already seen way too many scary movies to know where that was going, so you rest assured I wasn't about to open the window for nothing. Um, so I, I, I ran to the door and I was started to unlock it so I could just get the hell out of there. And then I heard women on the other side. They were giggling. They were laughing. They were they were happy voices. They were they should be warm voices. They should be inviting voices. But now the the lump of fear in my throat was already near the top of my head, and I I, I was scared. I, I I had to overcome one fear to to run from the other and instead I was just trapped between trapped between long enough to hear the window start to slide open why are you not letting me in Sean she said I I, I, I couldn't I couldn't make myself talk. I, I, I wanted to yell. I wanted to scream. I wanted to do anything, but I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I've watched you for a long time, Sean. You're so beautiful. Nope. Nope. I was done. I was done. I was ready to be done. This, this, uh, I, 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 I was ready to open the door now, but unfortunately my brain couldn't, like, figure out how to unlock the door and how to open it instead just trying to do one and the other at the same time which you can't do with these dorm locks these stupid fucking door locks are just so fucking stupid and I can't hit the door open and I can hear her coming I can hear her. I can hear her coming she's going step by step barefoot just hearing the skin peel away from the linoleum floor with each step I could hear water dripping off of her clothes, like icy pins and needles hitting the floor. Even with the other people talking on the other side of the door, I could hear them as loud as elephants dropping off the skyscrapers in the nearest city. I was terrified. I just want to be with you, Sean. I know you're all alone. I'm so lonely, too. We could just be together, you and I. And I don't... I don't know what to do. I don't... I, I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. I wanted to, and I remember reading all these stupid self-help books as a kid. I'm trying to be more confident, and I'm trying to think of the words and breathe at the same time and open the door, and nothing's working. You don't be with me, Sean. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what will happen if we don't 
end up together, Sean. I'm, I'm, I'm in a full-blown panic, and I'm rattling at the door. I can hear that the women on the other side have ran off, so I should be coming down, but now she's too close. This other woman is way too close, and she's talking to me, and I'm frozen, and I, I don't know what to do, and I just... All I can think about is those stupid books and all the people telling me that I just should plant my feet and tell people what I want. And just tell them what I want. And I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. And I hear her getting closer and closer. And I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I just can't. And I couldn't. And I didn't know what to do. And I, I couldn't get the door open. And the stupid fucking lock wouldn't move. And nothing's moving. And I can't do it. Why haven't you said anything, Sean? Why do you not say anything, Sean? Just say we can be together. Say it. Say it or I'll have to. And then I finally snapped. I turned and something came over me. Something finally unlocked. Like I heard a a voice in my head, a, a deep, a deep voice, a, a powerful voice, telling me, it's okay now, Sean, just tell her what you really want. And I breathed in as deep as I could, and I let out something I never knew I could let out before. Get out of my house! Glass broke all through my dorm, from the cupboards right out the window. Whoever she was just took steps back in sheer panic. I, I felt, I felt different. I felt powerful. I felt like I had unlocked a monster. And I, I wanted to say it again, but something told me to hold back now, that it would be enough. But I took a step forward. I was so terrified, but I took a step forward, and I, I sneered at her. I, I bare my teeth, and it's funny they felt, they felt so sharp all of a sudden. My, my skin felt waxy, like, like I'd been soaking in the tub for way too long. My hair felt matted and soaked, and I felt wonderful and horrible all at the same time. She she took some steps back and back further. Suddenly she was the one scared. And then she took too many steps back and fell up my window. But I didn't see her fall. I, I just know that's what happened. I was busy looking in the mirror. I know who my father is. Or what he is. And now I know what I am. And why I must never talk to women. Or anybody, really. Unless, unless it's necessary. My mother was a very open and loving woman. And she would see people for the good in them. Just like she did my father. My father was... My father was of another world. A different world like ours. It was... It was Fay. He was a, a spirit of, of death. And even though he was an embodiment of the thing mortals fear the most, my mother loved him, and I am the result. I am a, a herald of sorts. My voice tells you what's coming. 
you're hearing this as a message now because this was my dorm room this was my my room when it happened I may have to haunt here from time to time please don't try to start a conversation I promise I, I won't hurt you if, if I if I don't have to I don't want to hurt anyone but my fate was decided for me at birth I am a Ben he my name is Sean and I mean you no harm 